hey guys how you all doing you all are welcome back again to my channel it's fever here happy new week to you all guys the housemate woke up today nine housemates still remaining in the house and they woke up today very energetic the gym was giving and also the housemate b was playing soft music for them you could see elebaye having the fun of her life while soma teaches her some dancing steps and moves and they were just cruising and enjoying themselves the camera also took us to angel angel was so, also shaking her you know her ups and downs and enjoying the whole thing Why some people were still sleeping and chilling some are already in the kitchen making something to eat some are in the dressing room in the locker room and so on guys a lot is happening on social media but let's even talk about what is going on in the house guys they are dragging um prince right now they are dragging him back and fault because of his coming in as a house guest according to cc venita and some other housemates talking about this they say that prince spilled so much in the house you know more than necessary and they feel like that was why big brother evicted him the way he did remember that prince is the only person that they just they did not even say he's evicted they did not evict him like respectfully like they did to lucy kimopra and um Omoshala, they just say oh pack your bags they have a mission for you and he's out of the house and that they believe is because of what he has been saying to the housemate according to them cc and venita couldn't hide the fact that prince gave some of the housemates expose of the viewers perception of them in the house but guys what i don't understand is why people are dragging venita saying that venita want to tarnish um prince name and all those things since or more guys what they are saying is the truth like why can't people accept the truth prince said a whole lot to the housemate even this mean girl stuff that is bringing issue or tried to bring issue between um mercy and then um, venita is because of what prince said prince talked a whole lot in fact cc also said that prince told her that she has dated her name that um she has dated the name that she managed to build for five years hey <laughs> god oh. and venita also confessed that prince also told mercy um some things and also told her the same thing which is making her which made her and their uh, mercy to have that um, break that they had uh, about their friendship and so much more in fact they also confess that it's because of what prince told or might have told alex that even spoiled alex game because according to prince he came to help alice in the game but the whole thing backfired the whole spilling about perry they believe that prince told alex that perry is hated outside the house and maybe if she you know go closer to elebaye support her and all those things and you know be against perry because people outside is against perry that maybe the viewers and audience will like her more or more the thing backfired on alex because i was wondering why all of a sudden the alex and perry that was getting closer together the alex and perry that was you know talking about shipping you know talking about them having a one-on-one -on -one heart to heart discussion discussion after the show them opening up about their feelings for each other outside, outside the house not in the house all of a sudden alex became so mean to Pere. alex was just intentionally poking Pere for no reason ah it's now that they are saying this thing in the house that i say oh maybe um, venita and sissy might be right that this prince spilled something to alex and that was why alex changed her game suddenly hey god and this goes a long way because people on twitter are saying that oh it is true because they feel now that alex getting closer to Ilebaye is not out of genuine love and support it was also strategic i don't know what you feel about this if you are alex fan or if you are Ilebaye's fan do you think that 
Alex being there for Elebaye was strategic or do you think it's genuine love and support? Do you think that Prince spoils Alex's game? You know, I know his intention was not to spoil her game. Do you think that all those things that Prince was telling Alex about what is going on in the house really somehow spoiled her game or backfired to her? And talking about Alex, Omo, you all know that Hey, that bed that caused problem and gave her and then Pere the strike they had. Pere was actually chilling on the bed um, last night. He slept on it, seriously. And it's just an eye-opener when Pere is telling um, uh, some of the housemates that it was actually Biggie's doctor that he met in the house you know so a lot of things happen behind the camera do you do you get even some of the housemates we even go into the the diary room during like they can go into the diary room when it's not diary section and the camera will not show it they will have one-on-one -on -one talk with big brother that kind of a thing so according to Perry, Perry met biggest doctor in the house okay outside the camera the camera did not show us and the doctor advised him to move to the blue room that that pink room is cold and it's not good for his heart it's not good for his health remember he had an open heart surgery so that was why he even went to the blue room that he you know blue room was not his in um, original place to sleep but because of the advice of the doctor that was why he went to that um blue room or more we didn't know this so <laughs> anyway guys a whole lot is happening and people that are dragging cc that are dragging venita saying that oh they want to tarnish prince um, image it's not like that it's just that i don't know why that biggie did not tell them not to say anything but i just felt like honestly biggie should have told them don't say anything to the housemate just pretend that you are a fellow housemate but omo so far they went in there without any instructions without any rules and regulation and them even saying all those things that are happening in the house is just 100 percent the housemates will be 100 percent sure that these people are fake housemates these people are you know house guests because if they are original housemates they're supposed to be camping in a hotel somewhere like for two weeks maybe till the time that big brother will bring them in the house and they will not have any access to watch the show or anything but for them to know what is happening in the house it's obvious that they are not real housemates because biggie will not give them that advantage you know what is going on and other people's game and you now come and also play for the 120 million anyway guys all these things that are happening you will see that some people are having different conclusion apart from the dragon people are saying now that nine housemates in the ninth week of the eviction, five in the top five and four to leave. Um, they are saying that if you check the um, if you just balance and check that according to them or not me. In fact, let me give you evidence because people like when I gist you people, you people will turn it around and start dragging me as if I'm the one that is saying it. So let me give you guys evidence. As you can see on your screen, this one is coming from only Donny Stan. And she said, um, CC has the most odd to win if Big Brother Niger fans are to be relied on. She actually ends up being very close friends with housemates living from Ural to Ike to Donny to Neo and her Alex. If all these fan bases join forces, then the 120 million may just be hers. Hashtag Big Brother All Star, hashtag Big Brother Niger, hashtag Big Brother Niger All Stars. Oh my guys, this brings us this brings me to the question do you think that this person might be right with this um mathematics and this conclusion let's just cruise about this down the comment section okay because i know if i don't show you people this thing now you people will say that it's me that i'm sissy's fans and all those things oh my guys i'm a liquor lion i keep saying this i'm a liquor lion anyway guys um thank you so much for joining me on this one today i'll be waiting for you guys down the comment section that is where we talk one-on-one -on -one. thank you and god bless you for watching love you guys